Okay, uh, it's my great honor to be here to have a presentation. Uh, first, uh, I would like to thank Professor Liang, Professor Wang, and uh, Professor Steve from the UK at the session for everyone for joining this uh, Euro, uh, Euroson School. Today, my topic is control in hand ultrasound in gastric cancer. I'm from Zhejiang University School of Medicine at the Center of the Hospital. Uh, as we know, the first I would like to introduce the city of Hangzhou to everyone because you know, as uh, Mac Polo Paul, uh, had the same, he is a very famous Italian traveler in the 13th century. He said that the city of heaven is without a doubt the most splendid and uh, finest city in the world. So, of course, the next uh, year, the Asia uh, Olympic game will be held in this city. One well, welcome everyone to join this city. Uh, as we know, oh sorry. Gastric cancer is still the fourth most common cancer and the second leading cause of the cancer uh, related deaths of the world wide, worldwide. Especially the East Asia is a higher incidence area, including China, Japan, and uh, South Korea, uh, of the gastric cancer in the world. So the current treatment options of gastric cancer vary from uh, endoscopy, mucosal resection to preoperative chemotherapy, followed by gastrectomy, and the appropriate preoperative diagnosis and the classification, including the gross appearance, is very, very important in determining the optimal treatment of gastric cancer. So the use of ultrasound, especially trans abdominal ultrasound for the gas uh, gastric cancer is limited by the interference from the intragastric cancer. However, recently the oral control enhanced can be introduced to detect the gastric cancer. Because of that, it can be displayed the gas in the stomach and by distending the gastric lumen, which can help to display the gastric wall lasers. Now let's look at these lasers. We can find this is uh, all, uh, all control enhanced. The lumen can be extend, expanded. And however, here we can find that the laser can be easily detected because of the uh, home uh, iso ergogenicity uh, windows can help to display the gastric wall lasers here. So today I wanted to introduce a new uh, method named the double contrast enhanced ultrasound in gastric cancer, which is uh, intravenous microbubble are used together with an oral contrast agent. And this is a uh, oral contrast ultrasound which can display the gastric wall uh, looming and to display the lasers over here. After that, we can uh, using the uh, intravenous microbubbles were performed and uh, to display the, the uh, perfusion of these lasers. So firstly, as for the oral ultrasound control agent, it's uh, composed by a kind of soil delivery. And uh, it can be reconstituted by adding 500 milliliters of boiling water and uh, gently stirring the water to form a homogeneous suspensions. After cooling to a comfortable temperature, which can be at the 30 to 40 centigrade degree, the patient was asked to drink these suspensions liquid as quickly as possible, and then it can be provided a caustic window and enable transabdominal ultrasound to detect gastric lasers. So right here we can find that firstly we should obtain the written uh, constant information before the examination and the, the routine check on the ultrasound should be performed before the DCOS. Right now we can find we just have a routine check using the uh, conventional ultrasound. Now let's look at this movie. 
And the most of the process of the, this procedure is a little bit similar compared to the uh, Professor Xie Mingxin and another professor have already shared. And right now we just focusing on some different uh, steps on the gastric cancers. So the first day we should invite the patient to drink the these suspensions to disband the, the gastric lumen and so that we can clearly detect the uh, gastric wall in terms with from the cardiac to the uh, fund body and the uh, artery and the duodenal bump and uh, all this each part of the gastric will uh, detect in turn with a different position for the with a supine or a decubitus position. Now right now we can find this is a difficult position so that most of the oral contrast can be more full uh, feel for the gastric lumen and the, each part of the stomach and the, the duodenal bulb were examined in turn with the subject in both supine and uh, uh, decubitus position to facilitate complete uh, feeling and the visualization of the laser as clearly as possible. And when the laser was uh, displayed clearly and the intravenous CUS was followed, and uh, after the administration of 2.4 milliliters of Sonoville as a bolus uh, injection, and uh, now let's look at this movie, we can find that the laser was located on the uh, posterior wall of this gastric uh, with a thickening uh, hypoechogenicity and after that the intravenous microbubble injection were performed and we can find that the lasers were enhanced uh, rapidly in the arterial phase and however we can find the lumen of the gastric have no enhanced at all because they have no second harmonic within this gastric lumen. However, here is a uh, obviously can be detected with uh, enhancement. Now, interestingly, I wanted to introduce some case. Uh, this is uh, early gastric cancer. However, CT scan is a misdiagnosis because this laser is too small. And uh, now let's look at this on the CEUS, we can find that this is uh, lasers can be easily detected in the early arterial phase. It uh, produced into the gastric lumen with a hyper enhancement in the early arterial phase. Uh, I want to know where somewhere have already with, with the vessel lake. This I can name it broken bridge. So today I wanted to introduce the law of CUS in assessing gastric cancer. Firstly, it can be to introduce to assess the gross appearance of gastric cancer preoperatively. And the second part is to assess the relationship between enhancement pattern of CUS and the differentiation of advanced gastric cancer. And the last part will be to assess the effect of near adjuvant chemotherapy in patients with gastric cancer. Uh, firstly, we should know what's the mean of the Bowman classification. As for the, this kind of classification, it can be classified into four patterns. And the pattern one, type one, is a nodular uh, polypoid tumor. And the type two is a tumor, is an accelerative laser, but elaborate and distinct borders. And the type three, an accelerating tumor with a penetration uh, earth basis and the last type is a diffuse thickening of the gastric wall without a discrete uh, marginated mass or acceleration. So now let's look at this uh, diagram. It's uh, very, very easier to grasp it, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. Now let's look at some case. Now this is uh, on all contrast ultrasound. The laser were plant with uh, all shape with uh, hypochogenicity, and uh, also the laser were planned with uh, hyper enhancement in the early arch phase, 
However, this is against Lumin have no enhanced, and this CT scan also can display that the laser protrude into the gastric lumen, and this is a type one. It's a nodular polypoid tumor with a broad base. Now this is another case we can find on B mode. The laser was planted with a hyperocogenicity and the hyper enhancement on double contra enhanced ultrasound and uh, uh, protrude into the gastric uh, lumen and the CT scan also can present as the same findings. Now this is a uh, Bowman's type two. This is a uh, tumor and uh, isolated lesions, but elevated and the distinct board look like look like this on B mode. And this is a uh, contrast ultrasound, and this is a CT scan. However, another case we can find. This is a Bowman type 2 with uh, elevated oscillate lasers. And uh, of course, this is a thickening wall and uh, hyper enhancement in the early arch phase. And this is a uh, samples can be harvested out the ablation. And the type 3, however, also is uh, oscillating with uh, penetration base and uh, the thickened wall and the hyper enhancement in the early arch phase. And the CT scan also displayed the same profile compared to the uh, ultrasound. However, how about the another case we can find on B mode? The profile of this case is uh, unclear because of the interface of this gas in the intra gas intra gastric lumen. After the CUS, we can find the profile of this this lasers were clearly displayed, and uh, this it can be classified into uh, Bomber class, uh, class five, uh, type 3. Well, how about the type 4? This is uh, gastric cancer with uh, diffused thickening of the gastric wall without a discreetly marginated uh, mass or isolation. And, uh, Double contra enhanced ultrasound and the CT scan also the uh, diffused thickening uh, gastric wall. So this is a Bowman type four. So compared to the final uh, pathology examination, we can find the overall accuracy of double contra enhanced ultrasound in determining the Bowman classification of advanced gastric cancer was 91.49%. The accuracy of DCUS in determining Bowman 1, Bowman type 2, type 3, and type 4 was following 86 to the 93.42% respectively. And the thing I wanted to introduce the law of CUS in assessing cancer is to assess the relationship between Enhanced pattern of CUS and the differentiation of AGC. So normally the contra enhanced patterns of AGC can be classified into two patterns. One is a homogeneous patterns and another one is a heterogeneous enhancement patterns. As for the homogeneous patterns, it can be planted with an even signal intensity over the whole tumor with no signal defects during the early archer phase. Whereas for the hetero enhancement patterns, it can be classified into subtitles. One is a layered pattern and another one is a stated patterns. Now let's look at this. This is a homogeneous enhancement pattern in the early archer phase and the, the, the laser were enhanced evenly. So the whole lasers were enhanced homogeneously. And this showed that the tubular adenocarcinoma with well differentiated was proven by the uh, histopathology examination. Well, now let's look at this case. This is a heterogeneous enhancement from the uh, cellosa to and the progressive to the mucosa with a straight pattern. And the laser on B mode can be displayed over here 
and the CT scan over here. So this is a heterogeneous enhancement patterns. And of course, this is another heterogeneous enhancement pattern with a, a layered pattern or straighted patterns from the cellulosa to the mucosa. And uh, finally, we can find, based on these tables, we can find that the gastric cancer with heterogeneous uh, enhancement were the more common pattern in, in the definitiated gastric cancer and the sensitivity and the specificity of the CUS in diagnosing and differentiated gastric cancer were 78 and 72.59% respectively. And uh, the another interesting results show that uh, the heterogeneous enhancement pattern were more often BOMEN3 or BOMEN4 uh, uh, microscopic types than those with uh, homogeneous uh, enhancement and also were less likely to receive the curative gastrectomy than those with uh, homogeneous enhancement. So the last part I wanted to introduce the a uh, law of CUS in assessing gastric cancer to assess the effect of neoadjuvant chemotherapy in patients with gastric cancer. So now let's look, look at these two cases. The advanced gastric cancer can be detected on B mode and the double contract enhanced ultrasound over here and the CT scan after two uh, cycles of uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy, we can find that the laser was shrinked and uh, there are no a laser can be detected on the double contra enhanced and the CT scan also showed that the lasers were disappeared. So this can be classified into a partial or totally response based on the WHO criteria. And uh, unfortunately, this case shows that there are no response out of the neurodegenerative chemotherapy. Before chemotherapy and after chemotherapy, the tumors have no change, which can be classified into stable uh, response. So we can use these methods to assess the, the effect of the uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy on those kind of cases. So the take-home message including that double contract ultrasound is pro promising as a non radioactive portable method to predict the clear clinical pathological features of gastric cancer based on its enhancement pattern. And also it can be uh, used to, uh, as a high accuracy in diagnosing the Bowman classifications preoperatively. And also double contrast enhanced ultrasound also can be used to assess the effect of neoadjuvant therapy or the ones against cancer. So, I would like to thank my colleagues who, for their con uh, contribution to this work. And uh, also, thank you, everyone. However, I have a one test questions which disappeared. Thank you very much.